Hi, I'm Andrew Jenkins, Caravan Expert, and welcome to my Caravan channel. Here I am in Darlington. Uh, I'm at Kimberley Caravans, what used to be Baron's Great Outdoors uh, many moons ago, and also used to be Bertry Gate. Uh, Bertry Caravans were here. Uh, they had a fire, basically, Baron's took over. Uh, Michael Old, who uh, I've known for many years, rebuilt a fantastic dealership. Uh, unfortunately, things changed and the dealership was then sold and Michael went on to uh, work for Eldis etc. So I'm here today and I've just found this lovely Van Master. Now Van Master are uh, quite an old traditional design there's no doubt about it everything is your proper wood. Uh, these cans took more than a couple of hours to build these took a week to make and longer and many people uh, ordered bits and pieces, extras, different upholsteries and all that sort of thing. Now finding one won't be always easy. Um, you'll have to have a good old search around if you're after one. But this is Eclave and this is the Two Birth which is a very popular one. In wash room. It's got a fantastic uh, amount of storage, that type of thing. So let's have a quick look uh, around this Van Master, this classic from 2012. It's a staggering breakdown bargain price of a fiver just short of 15k right well this is the kitchen area and also the side dresser and look at this look at that space lots of worktop and also obviously lots of cupboard storage oh, look at this in here this is where you'd put your tv now obviously you'd have to have a small tv to go in there not very big but it's a little cupboard Super. Now, every luxury club and caravan in its day came with a cocktail cabinet and this is possibly the king of all cocktail cabinets complete with engraved glasses and tumblers. This would be lit up at night. We've got the Van Master motif on there. Very swish, very posh. Now see all the glasses still there and intact and look very little used. More cupboard storage and look at the size of these, look at the thickness of these. Really good sturdy van. So plenty of wood if you like the wood effect. Now the kitchen has got good work top. It's also got a pull out work top here. Domestic fridge, more storage, full oven, sink and drainer with glass tops and also it has four burner hob, uh, no dual fuel hob and there's a Dometic um, air extractor there and the top here would be the microwave of course. Oh. 
Now that's one disadvantage with these, they do have these very sort of, I would say not very good hinges so you can hear those squeaking away. Again, you have plenty of cover storage and again, that's a plastic inlay, you wouldn't quite expect that on a tour today, especially the price this would have been when it was new. But it's in lovely condition, it's obviously been well cared for and that's what you'll find with van masters. Although they don't make the caravans anymore, they do have a refurbishing uh, service so and for things like parts etc so you'll have no problem. Um, in here is the table storage and it's got Alder heating, little mirror inlay there, we'll see uh, blind on the door and that about completes that really. To so say great lounge area where I've just been sat previously and um, to say bed making on this would be easy because it's just a pull out system like that on both sides and your bed's easily made up. Now here you have mains lighting, LED 12 volt lighting and also the clock and in a van master you would have the barometer too. Also you may notice the ceiling is like a carpeted effect now that is something quite unusual on the tour that was something you'd see on motorhomes. Okay let's go and have a quick look in the bathroom and come up with a conclusion on this uh, super hand-built tourer. Well look at this you've even got a proper radiator in here running off the Aldi heating and you've got the Dometic Lou plus look at all that storage wow there's loads of it sink um, which is fairly deep, I wouldn't say it's overly sized and a clear window and yes there's more storage overlock here storage here and also here there's um, an omni vent roof vent which is just a bit bleached out with the lights unfortunately there but loads of area there to put all your toiletries and things and of course You've got the old cubicle shower and a squeaky door. So that's big enough to shower in. And also the wardrobe with the Aldi heating in there and also the must have status TV aerial. That carpet by the way looks like it's hardly ever been used. So, really decent sized washroom, which also comes with a large mirror, which you just see me unfortunately. And there you go. Right, okay, let's have a sum, a sum up of this Torah. Well, the Van Master is a one lump of Torah. It's over 1800 kilos loaded up, so it's a fair old brute. But, it's quite well made of course and if you're after something a little bit different so that stands out in a crowd then this is the Torah for you for a couple there's loads of space in here it really does feel a very roomy tour indeed and it has a that quality feel it's got a lovely charm about it it's got some charisma it's really has got lots of storage excellent lighting Aldi full heating, there's ATC on, there's the AKS hitch on there, all the wheels, there's a super pitch um, uh, plug thing on the side there for, uh, for super pitch so you can have water direct and not have to have bubble containers, alarm, parameter, CD radio, yeah and of course it's on little cocktail cabinet there for drinkies on, on site and impress your friends 
with engraved Van Master glasses or tumblers. So it's a heavy tourer as I've just said. It's quite unique. You won't find a lot of them around. I remember actually going and seeing the very first Van Masters built in the summer of 1995 and I towed um, and tested one uh, by the beginning of September and um, I was very very impressed in those days they were about £15,000 that seemed quite expensive then and that was uh, I think that was an accolade and it really was a super tourer but things change this sort of market went and died there's the mass produced people such as Swift produced luxury tourers okay they weren't hand built as such but they came with the extra kit and people were more swayed with that than a nice bit of wood grain which is rather a shame because 40 years ago tourers of this ilk would have been definitely on most caravans wish list to aspire to bandmasters say sadly are no longer actually manufacturing but they're doing refurb and they refer other, manuf uh, other makes as too. And I got very involved with Van Master. I did a bit of brochure work for them and things like that. Did a lot of testing their vans. And um, yeah, it was it was sad when the original company went. And then the second owner, when he took it over. And then that went and was sold to the uh, current owner. Now called Phil. And uh, yeah, it was a big shame really that Phil had to call it a day. But the thing is, there's still these Van Masters are still knocking around. And I was just talking to the salesman before and I said, Have you had any inquiries? He said, Well, do you know what? He said, We have quite a few people inquiring about that tour. He said, Well, in 20 years, I've only had three on the forecourt over that time. So that just shows you how quite rare these tours are. So the Fiverr short 15k, something different, solid bit of charm, something distinctive, well designed, loads of storage, good equipment, you've got the car to pull it. This Van Master could be just the tour for you. It's been very well looked after as I've said previously and uh, it shows in the way that everything has been cleaned down after use and look at all this lovely veneer. So no markings, nothing. It's great. It's, it's almost feels like new. At seven years old, nearly eight years old. I think this could make a great tourer for a couple who really want to travel and tour in style. See you later and please subscribe. And also, please feel free to comment on this video. Andrew Genshkin, the Cowan Expert. I'm now going to sign off from here at Kimberley Cowans at Burtree on the A68 near Darlington. Bye for now.